but in this video we're going to be taking a look at the variance and standard deviation of a data set and so as usual I'm going to timestamp the different parts of this video so if you want to see the derivation of a formula or you just want to skip through to an exam question at the end then you can do that and so let's start off by saying well what is the variation and what is the standard deviation and so in short it's basically a measure of spread of our data okay so it's going to tell us how much on average our data values deviate from our mean value okay and they're pretty easy to calculate and so I think the best way to look at this is with an example right and we'll go through where everything's coming from so so we've got the height of four different plants okay so they're 30 18 40 and 25 centimeters and of these we have a mean value which is this x bar here this 28.25 centimeters so if we added up all of their heights divided it by four then we would get 28.25 and so if I were to draw on this mean value it would be about here and so this is our mean height, 28.25 centimeters. So let's start off with the variance. So the variance is telling us, okay, on average, how far away each plant is from that mean value. Now, if we were to calculate that just as is, so if I was to say, okay, let's look at the first one, the, the 30 centimeter plant first. Well, I could say it's 30 centimeters, subtract the 28.25 centimeters, okay? that tells us that it's 1.75 centimeters away from the mean. Now let's do that for all of our plants. So we've got the second plant here, which is 18, subtract the 28.25, plus the third plant, which is 40, subtract our 28.25. I'm just gonna move this over so I've got a bit more space, plus the fourth plant, which is 25, subtract 28.25. And I want to take an average of these distances away. So I'm going to divide all of this by four. Well, if I were to calculate this, this is going to give me zero. Okay, because kind of what I'm doing is I'm doing four times, I'm taking the mean value and then subtracting four times the mean divided by four. And so we're going to get zero. Okay? And you could write that out algebraically if you wanted. So we don't want to take the arithmetic mean, which is what this is. We want to take the quadratic mean. And that's going to make everything positive and it's going to allow us to take a mean value and so all we're going to do is square each of these differences okay and this value here will give us our variance okay so pretty easy to calculate and if we work that out we get a variance of and i'll work it out now and we get to one decimal place 64.1 okay and that's our variance and for a level maths you could write that as s squared okay and that represents our variance or we could just put the variance like that okay so we've calculated our variance so what is our standard deviation well if we take the square root of the variance so I take the square root of my variance okay or I just write s well that's equal to my standard deviation so I could put 64.1 take the square root of that and I get say 8 and that would be my standard deviation. Okay, so now let's take a look at some formulas we can use to help us calculate these values. And again, we'll start with the variance. Okay, so we're looking at our S squared or variance first. Well, let's think about what we did. We took the sum, okay, of each data value, subtract the mean, and we squared it all, okay? And then we divided it by how many data values we had, okay? And so if we were to write that out, we could say it's the sum, and this is what you'll be given as well. So the sum of each data value, so being x subtract the mean value and that was all squared and then that was all divided by how many data values we had so n okay and this here which I've just written down I could put it in like a red bubble this here is our formula for our variance okay and you may see this top part here so this sort of sum of x minus x bar all squared written as s of x x like that so that's the formula for the uh, variance. How can we get our standard deviation? Well, we're just gonna take the square root of that, okay? And so our standard deviation, S, is equal to the square root of the sum of X minus X bar, all squared, all divided by N, okay? So pretty easy. Or if you wanted to, you could write it as the square root of S of X, X over N, okay? It's the same thing. Now you may see an alternative formula, okay, and I'll show you how we can calculate that quickly. So let's firstly look at our S of XX or SXX, this value here, okay? That's equal to our sum of X minus X bar all squared. 
Let's now expand that, okay? And if we expand it, we're gonna get the sum of x squared minus two multiplied by x multiplied by x bar plus x bar squared, okay? Now we can separate our sums or our big sigma sums uh, under addition, right, and subtraction. So if we do that, we're gonna get the sum of x squared, okay? Subtract the sum of two multiplied by x multiplied by the mean x bar plus the sum of x bar all squared, okay? Now from here, okay, if we've got a constant value, so for example, our two uh, in this case, or the mean, we can pull them out to the front of the sum because it doesn't matter if I write, for example, if I write, say we're doing the sum from n equals one to three, okay, of two xn. Well, that would be equal to two times x one plus two times x two plus two times x three. And I could factorize out that two and get x1 plus x2 plus x3. And so really it doesn't matter if I take the sum of from n equaling one to three of xn and multiply it by three, so or two in this case, sorry. So I can pull that multiple, if it's a constant, out to the front of my sum. And I'm gonna use that now. So let's pull out, okay, that two and the x bar to the front of my sum. And I can also do it with this x bar squared. Okay, and so if I do that, let me get rid of this highlights. So if I do that, we're gonna get that this is equal to the sum of x squared minus two multiplied by the mean multiplied by the sum of x plus x bar squared, our mean squared multiplied by the sum of one. So we're summing from say, I don't know, n equals, or we'll use a different value, we'll use i equals one to n of one well, what is that, okay? So if you're not familiar with this notation, what, what is that gonna equal? And I'm referring to this specific part here. Well, that's the same as one plus one plus one, 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 one plus one, n times, okay? And so we're multiplying one by n, and so that's just gonna equal n, okay? And so I could write that as n, and I'm gonna do that now. So we've got, this is equal to the sum of x squared minus two times the mean multiplied by the sum of x plus x bar squared multiplied by n. Now, the only thing we have left to do is sort out this sum of x. And what is the formula for our mean? Well, we sum all of our x values, divide it by the number we have, and that equals the mean. So rearranging this, we get the sum of x is equal to n multiplied by uh, our mean value. And so I'm now gonna substitute this in for this sum of x. And if I do that, we get the following, and I'll have to kind of make it unneat and write it over here, but we get that s of xx is equal to the sum of x squared minus two times x bar multiplied by n multiplied by x, and then that's plus x bar squared multiplied by n. And simplifying this, we get the sum of x uh, squared subtract two multiplied by n x bar squared plus x bar times n, and simplifying, we get this is equal to the sum of x squared minus n times x bar squared, okay? And this now should be in a form that you're familiar with, and if we substitute our, this new value of s of xx into here, or into our other formula for that matter, this one over here, we get that the variance, which I'll just call s squared, is equal to, well, the sum of x squared minus n multiplied by the mean squared over n, which we could write as the sum of x squared over n subtract x bar squared, okay? So if you're interested, that's where that formula comes from. Okay, so now let's take a look at an example where we need to calculate the standard deviation of the following numbers. And we have a data set here consisting of six different values. And the first thing I'm gonna do is calculate my mean, okay? So I'm gonna sum up all of these x values. And so we're gonna do 40 plus 42 plus 46 plus 50 plus 52 plus 56. That gives me 286. And then we're gonna divide it by the number of values in our data set, well, n is equal to six. And then from here, to calculate the mean, we're gonna do 286 divided by six, and we get 47.6 recurring. So I'll just say 47.6 to one decimal place. So now we've got the mean, what else do we need for our variance formula? And we'll look at this one, which is up here, okay? And in fact, I'll bring it down so we have it to refer to. So this will give us our variance, so s squared is equal to this. Well, I need the sum of my x squared terms, okay? So I'm gonna do 40 squared plus 42 squared plus 46 squared plus 50 squared plus 52 squared plus 56 squared, like that. 
And if we work that out, we get that our sum of x squareds, which I could write down here, sum of x squareds is 13,820. And so we're going to get 13,820 divided by 6, subtract our mean, which is 47.7 all squared. And so let's work that out. Subtract 47.7 all squared. So let's write that in. And we get a variance equal to 28 point, say, 0, 4 to 2 decimal places. But we wanted the standard deviation, which is the square root of this. So I'm going to take the square root of 28.04. And if I work that out, we get a standard deviation S of, say, 5.3 to one decimal place. And that would be our answer. So hopefully this video was useful. If it was, like, subscribe and share. And go over to my channel for tons more maths tutorials. Thanks for watching.